the Sheets Table Emailer, a great little thing to help you email tables to students. The code is by skrish2017 and I'm Easel Webb uh, doing the video. So I have this little problem that I want to email to the students these little tables with the challenges they've done. I've obviously hidden the identity of the student but it's a problem and it takes me five or six steps to get it done when I know with a little bit of scripting I could just click a button and click a menu item and I would immediately be able to do it. So to do this a script was created for me and I just want to talk you through it and show you exactly how it works so that maybe you can actually do a similar script for something you need. It's been divided into a few areas the first area is the menu, and that provides the menu that goes at the top. Uh, the second area gets the information from the spreadsheet. The third area creates the HTML table headings. The fourth area is a little loop that actually creates the table itself. And the final area actually emails it to you. So let's have a little look in detail as to how that works. So the first part makes the menus and this is largely uh, custom to Google so there are a few functions in here. There's a variable UI and the spreadsheet app dot get UI and then you create the menu. Um, we created something called send menu email and then we had uh, a send points is what it says and that executes the function send email to students. So the first thing we need to do is we need to collect some important data from the table. And this is the point where I want to show you something really important. If you look here, the variable email sheet.getRange, it says 1, 2. And one of the things that's not very clear to me initially was that, you know, I have a spreadsheet here, it's 1, 2, it's A, B over here. Well, in GScript, it's mostly referred to it row 1 and column 2. So please be really aware of this when you're, you're doing your coding because you'll find that you're not quite dealing with it as a spreadsheet. And you'll see this here. Uh, the data grid goes here. So it starts at 2, 1, and then sheet get last row. That's a nice little function that gets all the way to the last row with any data in it. Right, the next step is to create some table headings. And one of the beautiful things about this is we can actually use HTML in our email. So you can see all of the HTML here for making tables. So here's the tag for table, uh, the tag for table row, and then TD is for columns. So we've got challenge points, challenge name, and that creates the headings that we need. And then we get into the loop. Now this loop is, is very interesting. And as you can see, it goes round and creates all of the table rows with the data from the spreadsheet. But let's have a little bit of a look for those of you not so familiar with JavaScript as to how it's doing this. So here is, is the key line. And um, this is the part that sets up the loop variable. Very originally, we've called it I, but of course you can call it what you like. This is the end of the loop, and this was a variable that we did earlier, data grid. So when we created that range, that data grid, this will actually say, well, this is the amount of rows, and this is the length that it is. And finally, in JavaScript, we use I++. This is almost standard in JavaScript, the plus plus, and it increments it 1, 2, 3, 34, 35, etc., etc. And finally, we send the email. And this is mail app dot send email. Email your points update is the subject, and then the HTML is the body. And there's finally a little message box here, which just lets you know that the email has been sent. Please note that the email will be sent from whoever is logged into Sheets at the time and executes the script. I think that's really important. It's an important safety provision from Google's point of view, but it stops random emails coming from various people. And of course, the most important thing is we have happy students because they're able to get their points updates whenever they like. Thank you very much for listening.